In this video, I'm going to show you how to use three microphones with the 11 rack. Now, before we start, of course, you're going to need a few things. So three microphones, that should be obvious. And by the way, this will work with just say, if you want two microphones, this will work too. Um, so in our case, we're gonna do three microphones. So you'll need three microphones and you'll need a mic preamp with at least two channels. Unless of course you just want uh, two microphones, then you'll just need a single channel mic preamp. But we have a two channel mic preamp here. So we're gonna have a total of three microphones because the 11 rack, as you know, has a mic input right on the front. So let me go ahead and show you how to connect our preamp to the 11 rack and then our mics to our preamp. And then we'll set that all up in Pro Tools. So we'll get three microphones using the 11 rack. So first we'll look at the preamp that we're using and we're going to be using a Behringer Tube Ultra Gain. It's an okay preamp. It's got two channels. Now, of course you don't have to use a two channel mic pre if you use uh, something like a one channel single mic pre such as this art here but since we want to use three microphones we'll need two additional channels because we already have one channel here on the 11 rack okay so our unit is off our mic pre is off we're going to go ahead and move to the back of these units hook everything up then we'll turn it on and set it up in pro tools now you can use any preamp that you want this is just the one that we're going to use today but the way you hook it up will be extremely similar, if not exact. All right, here we are on the back of the unit. Right here is the 11 rack. Right here is our mic preamp. So what you'll need to connect these two together and connect your microphones is you'll need two quarter inch cables, all right? And of course you're going to need two XLR cables to connect to the input of the mic pre and then to the actual microphone. So we'll start actually with the output just so I can show you a little easier without other things getting in the way. So we'll connect a quarter inch cable to the output of our mic preamp and then we'll connect another quarter inch cable to the other channel, the other channel output of our mic preamp. And this runs into the line inputs of the 11 rack. Now it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm just going to set it up, you know, in a linear fashion. So this one here, our channel, I believe this is channel two, as we see here, this will go into the left line input and the other end of our quarter inch cable that's in channel one will go into the right line input of the 11 rack. Okay, so our output's hooked up. Now we have to hook up the input, the actual mic that's going to run into our mic preamp. So we'll need our XLR cable for that. So we'll hook one up in here. We'll grab another XLR cable and hook into our channel two. And now we just need to connect our microphones to these XLR cables. And we actually have everything hooked up back here between the 11 rack and our mic pre. So now we can move back to the front of the unit. Now we'll connect our third XLR cable to the mic pre of the 11 rack. And we don't have our 48 volts on and our mic pre is still turned off. We'll turn it on after we connect our microphones. Now we have our three microphones set up here. And just for a little bit of variety, I've added in a dynamic microphone and we have two condenser microphones. So now we'll go ahead and set this up and you'll need to choose, you know, what microphone you want to run through what preamp. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. What I'm going to do just so we don't have any mistakes is our two condensers. I'll run through our mic preamp. That way we can flip on the 48 volt phantom power for both of these on that unit. And our dynamic will run through the 11 rack and we'll of course leave the 48 volt phantom off. So we'll go ahead and hook this up. So here is the cable that runs to our 11 rack. Hook this up. Now this cable runs into channel one of our mic pre, which will be line right of the 11 rack. It's very important to remember exactly what channel is what. So this is channel one, which is line right on the 11 rack. Now onto our last microphone. This cable runs into channel two of our mic preamp which runs into the left line of the 11 rack. Now all of our microphones are connected. Now we can go ahead and turn on our mic pre and set up our 11 rack and move into Pro Tools. First, we'll deal with the microphone running into the 11 rack, which is a dynamic microphone, meaning we do not need to turn on our 48 volt phantom power. And we can adjust this gain knob later on. Once we get into Pro Tools, I'll just set it up about halfway for now. We can go ahead and switch on our mic preamp. Now we'll move on to the mic preamp and setting this up. Now this may vary depending on what mic preamp you're using. This one here has an option for microphone or line. 
Channel one, we want microphone. Channel two, we want microphone. Both of these, remember, are condenser microphones that are hooked up to our preamp. So we want our 48 volt phantom and our 48 volt phantom. This mic pre has a mic trim on it. So you can set that wherever is necessary. We have phase reverse. Again, this is going to vary depending on what kind of mic pre you're using. These options here, you can set up on your own, your phase reverse frequency and your high pass. Then we can move on over to the other section of our mic pre where we set the actual input level to gain here. And you can set this up in Pro Tools. You can set it in the middle, or I would actually suggest that you turn them way down until we get into Pro Tools, okay? And then we have other knobs here because this is a uh, tube preamp, so we can choose how much tube warmth we want. Again, this kind of varies depending on what kind of preamp you're using. But we'll just set that about in the middle for now. So now we're all set up between our 11 rack and our mic pre and our microphones. Now we'll move into Pro Tools, and I'll show you how to set up your routing so you can hear all three microphones. Here we are in Pro Tools now. We'll go ahead and set this up. I already have my three mono audio tracks created. If you don't have those, you can either come up here to their track menu and create those or Control Shift in on Windows and create three mono audio tracks. All right, and I already have this set up, but let's walk you through the steps. So first we'll set up our dynamic microphone, which is connected directly to the 11 rack. So we'll come up here to our input section, use our drop down, go to interface and choose mic in. I'll go ahead and monitor this track, make sure my microphone is on, and I'll just tap it. So I get some signal. I'll go ahead and boost the gain on the front of the 11 rack. Now when I tap it, it's much louder. Of course, you're going to have to go back and adjust this once you're monitoring the exact uh, source that you want to monitor. So let's move on to our first condenser microphone. And I've already named these tracks, by the way. You should go ahead and name these tracks. You can just double click the name there. I called this one here, Dyne for dynamic. The other ones I called condenser left and condenser right. Okay, so we'll start with our condenser left. Again, this is plugged into our mic preamp. So the condenser left is our AT2020 condenser microphone. So for the left line, which is channel two on our mic pre, left input for our 11 rack line. So we'll come to interface. And of course you choose line input left. Monitor my track. I'll tap the AT2020 condenser mic. Get a little bit of signal, so I need to go ahead and boost the gain on that channel, channel two on our mic pre. So I crank that up. There we go. I can also adjust the trim, but that's fine for now, just so we know that is indeed working. We're going to have to readjust it later on anyway. So for our last mic, you've probably already figured this out. This is going to be our Behringer condenser microphone, again connected to our mic preamp. Come to interface line input right, and that is channel one of our mic pre. So we'll go ahead and monitor this microphone, tap on it, I'll adjust the input gain, tap on it again. There we go. So now you're all set up to use three microphones with the 11 rack and a mic preamp. So if you've been wondering how to use more than one microphone with the 11 rack, that's how you would do it. Grab you a mic preamp. Again, it doesn't have to be two channel. If you just need one additional channel, one channel would work. There's all kinds of different ones from inexpensive to very expensive. It doesn't matter. They'll all be hooked up the same way and set up in Pro Tools the same way. And then you can have three microphones using your 11 rack as your interface for Pro Tools. Mic preamps come in very, very handy. So I definitely suggest you pick one up if you don't already have one. If you happen to already have one and you've never set it up like this, go ahead and check it out. This will make a lot more sense once you hook it up, you know, refer to this video, hook it up, be sure to keep in mind exactly what is connected where, you know, your line left and your line right and the different channels on your mic pre. You know, it'll all make sense once you get it all hooked up. Just work it out in your head. This is not hard at all and it's basic signal routing, which is something you really need to know. All right, so that's it for today. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.